Hello and welcome back to Mac 2024. We're here on the Hyden Handstand and we've got a fascinating set of demos on the brand new TNC7 control to show you a little bit later. Uh, but right now I'm here with Daniel Johnson, the MD of Heidenheim. Thank you so much for having us on the stand. No, you're welcome, bro. Absolutely. Welcome. I, I really appreciate it. Heidenheim are a well-known uh, company, well-known name in CNC machining and controls, amplifiers, drives, linear encoders. We're going to be going into a little bit about the, the unknown things that uh, CNC operators might not know about Heidenheim, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we've got our brand new control, which we'll talk about in a bit. But what we're best known for is our linear scales. That's where we originally started out. So we've got Let's go and have a look. Let's go check them out. A bit of a new generation of scale. Absolutely. So the, they're kind of hiding away at the back of the stand here because and they your control is guards. right at the front there. They all hide under the guards, but they are extremely important. So we've developed a new generation here, which is uh, it's got a new scanning gap and scanning principle inside which gives a lot higher resilience here to uh, the graduation. So if you've got any oil ingress, this scale should keep on working and uh, will mean that you won't get any unpla uh, unplanned downtime. So it's really important. Trying to get to these scales after the machine is built is usually very, very hard. So maintenance is quite difficult, and that's why they need to be absolutely reliable, not just for year Correct. one, but year 10. But we've developed this to work without air purge. Uh, that means you can save on your air costs, filters, and then, of course, we're talking about our total cost, uh, total cost of ownership and reducing CO2 consumption. So this is a, uh, a big area where we've spent a lot of uh, time and resources in uh, development, and we're quite proud of this uh, product as we're, we're finding it hard to uh, get it to a point where it might even fail. So yeah. it's been very resilient uh, in all of our tests. But it's a bulletproof linear encoders. That's fantastic. And also because they're hidden products, there's hidden costs associated with maintaining those products, but you're trying to reduce those. It's fantastic. Total cost of ownership. If you can keep this going, um, it, this will keep going long, long uh, b before your spindle uh, starts having problems or anything. So these things, they don't cost too much, but it's a worthwhile investment to do this uh, at the beginning uh, with your machine. And it would come hopefully with a Heidenheim package. Uh, we do our own drives, our own linear scales, our angle encoders. Um, we've also got... Uh, a lot of other features that are involved in our products that not many people are aware Absolutely. of. Absolutely. When you, when you select a high control. control, you get the controls, you get the whole package around the machine until you don't see it very often. So that's been all the encoder systems. We're moving on to something else, something pe people might be a little bit more familiar yeah, with. The best kept secret, I think, which is uh, the fact that we've got the, our touch robes. And we're also introducing our very latest uh, tool breakage detector called the TD110. So this uh, little device here is, should be positioned on the way back to the tool changer so that after you've finished uh, cutting, it does a quick sweep in front of, the, uh, in front of this detector. It will go blue to, to say it's detected it, and it can detect the tool, whether it's broken down to 0.2 of a millimeter, whether it's covered in swarf, coolant, etc. So you don't need to clean the tool before you do that check. Um, and we find that that can save you 10, 12 seconds uh, in between each tool change. Also, that gives you that knowledge that your tool is safe, uh, your job's been cut, and that you're not going to start ploughing in with the next tool. Absolutely. There's a huge that's cost cut. savings associated with lights out automated, running sounds great. Exactly. It's not great when you've got a broken tool at the first op 10 and you've got another 15 different ops to do. But we're saving time on each operation so that you, at the end of a year, you can have saved up a lot of seconds, turns into a lot of hours, a lot of days of milling time that you can be cutting new metal. Brilliant. So that's one brand new product here from Heinheim. There's also another product that's kind of half in development yeah, and half so we're, ready this to is, go. This is our VT121. Uh, what it is is you put it, position it inside the uh, machine cabinet, and after you've done your cutting, you come over, you get photographs, which can be evaluated after uh, the tool has gone back to the changer, and then you can see your flank wear, uh, etc. And if it's out of tolerance, you know that that's that's time to change the tool. Yeah, it's a really specialist product, I guess, would be quite useful if you're doing cutting trials mm -hmm. to automate photos, take and measure flank wear over different cuts. So people who are doing uh, cutting trials of brand new products such as tool regrinders or tool manufacturers, it's a fantastic mm -hmm. product. I've not seen any of these on the on the yep. market yet. We like to uh, bring it in, but it does, uh, it needs a lot of integration but from the uh, machine tool manufacturer. It's not actually a hard process, but you need a separate PC, so it's a little bit more uh, hardware needed at okay, the time. Cool. So, so cutting edge uh, technology, measuring cutting edges. Indeed. Perfect. Um, let's continue let's on to what over. might be kind of the most antici hotly anticipated part of this tour. It's a brand new control from Heidenheim. 
what are we looking at? So we're just showing off our brand new machine, effectively, that we've got our brand new control. Um, so this is going to be in our uh, office in Burgess Hill. We'd like people to come down and get some, uh, either some training, demonstrations. If you've got any applications you want to see uh, how it's done, we'll be doing some demonstrations, I believe. Um, but this is a new 24-inch screen, touch screen. We've redeveloped the keyboard to make it narrower so that you can get and touch the screen and draw parts. Uh, we've also uh, developed a few features that would be really appealing, I think, yeah, absolutely. to We're gonna the be operator, common problems in the machine shop. Absolutely, we're going to be covering those uh, problems, those features in uh, demonstrations from uh, one of Daniel's colleagues here, David Says, and it's a, it's a really interesting new control, which I guess is kind of, it's focused around making it really easy to do one-off, small batch work on the control, making that as easy for the operator as possible. Um, let's get a few demos. Let's find out from, from David Sayers uh, uh, how exactly to use this control and some of the brand new features that you can, uh, you can achieve uh, on the TNC7. David, welcome yeah. to the stream. Thank you. Hello, if you bring the microphone up a little bit okay. closer, we can hear you. Yeah. Perfect. So you, you're the, one of the applications engineers here yeah. at the Heidenheim, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. You've been demo, demoing this control demoing for the past day. two days. Yeah, yeah. How's it gone? What have customers thought? Uh, very impressed with the new features from the TNC7. Uh, the one I'm just about to show you and the probing that we're showing in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, yeah, so what's so feature one you're going to be showing? Feature one is how to easily create a, a new program using the OCM function, which is opt optional console milling. Um, on the machine, so this is tricordial milling basically on the machine, which nobody's had before. Um, so I'll just show you how to do yeah, that. Just yeah. get into okay. the demonstration. Yeah. So, so what we can do, so if you want me this side, yeah, perfect. So I've already pre created a, a, a program, yeah. I can say insert functions, so we have this uh, template OCM complete. I can paste this into the program, so this is already created our outside profile and all of our machining strategies yeah? yeah this might be a silly silly comment but there's such a big screen uh, uh, real estate you can fit a, a 2d drawing in yeah, here yeah yeah we can, we can, we can move these here. we can move these around as this is almost as sometimes want, when you yeah. come out into the machine shop it feels like you're going mm -hmm. from a computer down to like yeah. a calculator mm -hmm. this is like going from a computer to computer yeah 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 so once we've done this we can uh, draw our part so we have our part here we well, can use this function on the machine. I can. I'm happy with this. It's a hundred by a hundred. Yeah. So we're setting up our yeah. kind of canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then what yeah. are you going to do next? I love this so bit. So we draw. Oh, you set up Excuse a me. sketch. Sketching, so I can draw a lot. Fit sketch. Oh. Come on. As with live demos, it's not going yeah, perfectly. Yeah. I can assure you, this was super <laughs> smooth when we did this off offline. Why, why won't it let me? Why won't it so let me? So if you. Uh, while, while we're doing this, uh, yeah. what David was showing me earlier was you can sketch <laughs> a component while he's fixing it Why now. It you can sketch a component, uh, a 2D component, so you can draw it just like a CAD CAM system. And then here we go, sketch, we'll get it working. Look at that. Brilliant. So right, you draw a line that. and then it... Oh, okay, yes. I'll do it again for you. You yeah. draw it again for us. So Perfect. So line. You draw something that looks a line. I'll draw a circle. Yeah. Wow. I can pick the center. If I center this down here, I can adjust the radius of the circle excuse my fat fingers it's all right i've got the exact same problem with my my phone why oh, wouldn't it do it almost click the radius no, I won't do it. and you can set the radius oh. almost like a cad system this was doing set this the, one earlier. yeah set the constraints why it? uh if you well, can let me do this one yeah so you set those yeah. perfect so you set dimensions yeah, so set constraints uh, set yeah. lengths of lines there we go there we, we go. set the radius we got it Fantastic. Okay. Got to reset the settings on this for the finger size, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, brilliant. Okay. This is just like a CAD system. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now I've created the, the profile. Yeah. I can say export. I can set my start point of my machining here. I can say generate Clartex. And that's and generated, generated the program uh, for this contour. Yeah, yeah. It's going to send into your yeah. into your mm -hmm. part program. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. So I can. Uh, Copy this into my program. Up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it hasn't done it. It's ah. okay. This is classic with live demonstrations. Yeah. Once you select the select graphics, if you do it again, I think you can go select. Yeah. yeah. Select graphics. Select the okay. contour. Fantastic. Yeah. Insert a label. Give it a label. 
Brilliant. And, and those familiar with Hyde mm -hmm. and Hyde will know exactly what a label is, what a block form mm -hmm. is. Because yeah. quite a, this this is uh, yeah. so just this a, now should have saved it over to our program. Brilliant. So we've now yeah. got the pro we've now got that inserted into our program. Yeah. What I love about this is also mm -hmm. it's like a continuation of yeah. Hyde and Hyde programming that people will already be familiar with mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. It's it's exactly. As you would expect any hide and hide to be, basically, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you start just, with your block form, begin more, your program. More on the screen, yeah. Brilliant. So now, now I've done this, I can simulate the part. Yeah. Oh, feed rate. I need to put a feed rate in as well. Um, and what I find oh. fascinating also... Uh, just my... Uh, yeah. One minute. My NC sequences have disappeared for some reason. It's OK. Yeah. OK. Brilliant. Now I can say zero. Simulate. That's okay. Again, with live demonstrations, rename, rename yeah, the label. I forgot to name my label. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, um, so. I'm sure that I'm sure everyone who's used Heidenheim, Heidenheim before is it knows exactly what you're going through <laughs> right now, David. Yeah. And what I find fascinating as well is that you've okay. got uh, the Tricorder Mill in the OCM, which was available in TNC 640. Yeah. But adding in this extra uh, contour capabilities and being able to import DXFs into this, yes, into yeah. this brand new control, yeah. DXFs, means that step files, old, old, old. IGS, anything we've done. Absolutely, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. almost like you have a full CAD CAM system, uh -huh. CAD -CAM system yeah. available in the control. Mm -hmm. And how does this help operators? How does this help engineering businesses to be more productive? It just cuts down their setup times, basically. Um, especially if you're doing one-offs or small, small batch parts. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I guess yeah. The, op the, the operators watching this right now, if they could imagine yeah. simply drawing the draw, uh, drawing up their whatever so they've got in the 2D drawing, mm -hmm. setting the dimensions like yeah. a CAD system, they could be up and running, mm -hmm. cutting a co yeah. complicated contour in a, uh -huh. in a matter of minutes. Yeah. yeah. So now we can. Yeah, we've got the simulation running. Yeah. I mean, look at that. And we've got the, the yeah. tricoidal milling, which is. We can. I can slow it down a bit for you. You can Brilliant. see. So we're watching all doing. again like a full CAD CAM system uh -huh. with tool holder with collision checking yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which how important cool. is collision checking for this kind of process? Well, it's extremely important not to not to smash your machine up basically. Exactly. You've got a nice new yeah. machine with a brand mm -hmm. new TNC control, you don't want to exactly. be smashing up the spindle. Yeah. yeah. So with the OCM functions we we roughing, finishing, uh, finishing the floor, finishing the side now, and then we can chamfer as well. And we can build up to as many uh, as many as nine contours into the OCM cycle. Yeah, so you can uh, start making quite different, le different levels, so uh, an improvement on the SL cycles because you can only do one level. Now you can do multiple levels. Yeah. Fantastic. So okay. complex part manufacture mm -hmm. that helps yeah. with making these yeah. on the control, one-off batch work is perfect yeah. for it. Brilliant. And on the big screen so you can see your can component see perfectly. And it's chamfered around the outside as well, yeah? Brilliant. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay and there's okay. another feature you're yeah. going to show us, which is actually going to mimic the it's a simulation, yeah. kinematic simulation mm -hmm. of what you see in the yeah. side of the machine right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, so we've got uh, like a, a, a tooth, tooth vise yeah. and a really complex component here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a probe. Yeah. What are you going to be showing us next, so, David? Yeah, so as long as we've got a, a 3D model of the, of the part, we can uh, import this into the, into the uh, control and we can probe the part from there to give us all our spatial X, Y, Z positions in the preset, yeah? Yeah, So absolutely. I'm going to show you how to do that And now. again, before we show, mm -hmm. go dive into the demonstration, yeah. what you're going to show us is more, it's aimed at a certain kind of uh, operator, a certain kind of yeah. customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. so anybody doing one-offs or picking up on uh, prototypes and things like that, yeah. Perfect. So yeah. batch work, one-offs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's because people want to might have a, comp a complex yeah. component they're not yeah. used to. They yeah. don't know how to probe mm -hmm. it properly. Yeah. You're then going to show us yeah. how to probe up. And something. we also have a uh, fixture, fixture set up as well. Yeah. yeah. So we can set up the fixture. If you face the camera here, they would see your face. There we <laughs> yeah. go. So we can set up the fixture as well, and we, the fixture will then be in our collision monitoring. So if we're a millimeter off or two millimeters off. It will, pick, it will still pick that up as well. Perfect. Okay, yeah. we've got a minute. Okay. Let's try and get, this, get this demo going. A minute. Yeah, yeah. No pressure. No, no pressure. No so pressure. We're going to see the machine actually okay. moving so, as well here. Yeah, so we can go into setup. We also have a camera over here so you can see that. Okay, so uh, first thing I need to do is bring in my my model. Yeah, so you part. click on the STL. We've we got a. Uh, the STL there. Brilliant. Bring it in. At the moment, it's down here. We can't see it. So, so we, add need, we need to bring it up into the vice. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so up into the vice. So now we can drive the machine around. Brilliant. Yeah. And if you see the machine probe is moving, yeah, you see and on the, the control, 
Yeah. Uh, we see an arrow pointing where the probe will, wants to go yeah. uh, to, to actually, so we see here there's yeah. an arrow moving, this little green arrow, and once we move the, the, the probe around the, if you move yeah. the probe around the machine, yeah. the green arrow mm -hmm. will tell us where it wants to go yeah. and probe the component. So it will always pick up on, onto the surface, so the surface, surface yeah, and it will always probe per perpendicular to the surface, yeah. Okay, so you so press green can... button, the probe's going to go. Nice. And we're going to yeah. probe without writing any probing yeah. cycle, without mm -hmm. telling it what angle to go yeah. at, what mm -hmm. direction exactly, to go at, yeah. what position to go at. Yeah. It's already picked uh, and decided exactly yeah. where to go and probe. Yeah. So now start. I've done my first point. I'll go to my second point. You can see it, it shows you where it's probed already. So we're going to go press so green button go again. Press button again. Brilliant. Yeah. Nice, and then it picks that okay. surface normal. And then if mm -hmm. you see on this, the control here, when we go to the next yeah. point, mm -hmm. this arrow again moves around. Yeah. As soon as you go near to the, another surface, it picks okay. again the surface Over normal. Here, yeah. All you do is press the green button. Stop and start. Wow, and then the probing cycle can run on yeah. what is a really Because I wasn't close enough there, so... Oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's over, yeah. on the over-travel. Yeah. Brilliant. So, but we can just clear that and we can carry on, yeah? Fantastic. And this okay. way you can probe up certain points on a complicated component that you've never yeah. seen before, mm -hmm. find out exactly where it is as long as yeah. you've got the 3D model, which most, yeah. most customers do. Yeah, these days. Yeah, Perfect. Nice. Has okay, that, so yeah. that's probing components. There's one yeah. more thing we have to show you, uh, which is uh, a fantastic uh, new scheme from Heimenheim. If you've got, if I take that microphone off you, please, David. Thank sure, you very please. much for the demonstration. Okay. There's a new scheme if you've got a Heimenheim TNC control. Um, here you go, Daniel. Is your microphone you. again? Um, a new scheme for TNC Club. Now, Daniel, what so is TNC Club? We'd like to welcome everybody who's got our nine control to come and talk to us and join up our club. So register your machine. We can also offer some free benefits. So it's free to join. But if you sign up to be a premium member, a uh, very small fee, you get an application stay, uh, cheaper. Sorry, you get some uh, training involved in that. We also uh, offer discounts on our probing packages and our state monitor monitoring solutions, uh, digital shop floor. So please, come and have a look. Come down. We've got sofa. And introduce yourselves to us, because we'd like to meet you. Brilliant. So come down to the Heidenheim stand. We've got three more days left of Mac 2024. If you're interested in a demo on the Heidenheim TNC7 brand new control, or you're interested in coming and checking out the TNC Club and what they can do for you today with your Heidenheim controls and the huge amount of software and brand new developments in hardware they've been developing, Make sure you come down to Mac or check out Heidenhine online.